Let's balance the equation for sodium bicarbonate. This is also called baking soda or sodium hydrogen carbonate, decomposing into these substances here. We'll also take a look at the type of reaction and the states. So let's look at the type of reaction here. We have this one substance, this sodium bicarbonate, and it's breaking apart into three different things. So it's decomposing. This is a decomposition reaction. That's the type of reaction. Let's balance the equation. We have one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon, and three oxygens on the reactant side. On the product side, we have the two sodium here. For hydrogen, we have two of those. Carbon, we have one. Be careful though, there's one over here as well. So we have two carbon atoms. Oxygens, we have three plus one plus two. That gives us six oxygen atoms. People usually have problems here with the carbon and the oxygen. They don't count all of the carbons or they don't count all of the oxygens. It looks like really all we need to do is put a coefficient of two in front of the NaHCO3. This two, it applies to everything here. So one times two, two sodium atoms, they're balanced. One times two for the hydrogens, those are also balanced. One times two for the carbon. And finally, three times two, that'll give us six. We're done. This equation is balanced. If we're going to write the states for this reaction, it would look like this. Do note for this decomposition reaction, often you'll heat this up so your water might be a gas if it's really hot, at least initially. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the decomposition of NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate. We also looked at the type of reaction, which is decomposition. Thanks for watching.